In this video, we're going to show the example of MLE with binomial distribution n equals 1. So let's assume we have uh, n samples. And each sample follows the binomial distribution with n equals 1. Here n is a uh, number of trial trials. And the P data is a success probability in each trial. Since n equals 1, this is essentially the same as <coughs> Bernoulli dis distribution with uh, success probability data. And x sub i is either 0 or 1 in this case. So since it follows a binomial distribution, probability of x sub i given theta is 1 choose x sub i times theta to the x sub i times 1 minus theta to the 1 minus x sub i. And this is always 1, so we can simplify this to uh, theta to the x sub i times 1 minus theta to the 1 minus x sub i. Now we can uh, define a likelihood function of theta given d and is a product of the probability function x sub i given theta as 1 to over 1 to n i equals 1 to n and we have a iid assumption behind this so this can be rewritten as a product of theta to the x sub i times 1 minus theta to the 1 minus x sub i Now we can uh, define our love likelihood function. <clears throat> which is a uh, sum of natural log of data to the x sub i times 1 minus data to the 1 minus x sub i. So we're going to uh, omit the indexes of the sum because it will, will show up everywhere and we know that it's always like it always uh, summing over from uh, i equals 1 to n. So now this can be simplified to natural log of theta times sum of x sub i x sub i plus natural log of 1 minus theta times sum of, sum of 1 minus x sub i. Now we should uh, take the gradient of this log likelihood function and set it to zero. And that's how you get the extremum of a function analytically. And so take the derivative of the log likelihood of theta given d respect to theta. Set it to zero. 
So that's now if you take through to here this so one over theta times sum of x sub i plus oh actually you should you can pull out the, the minus here so it's minus one over one minus theta times sum of the one minus x sub i equals zero. And you multiply that theta times uh, one minus theta both sides then you get one minus theta times so x sub i minus theta times sum of one minus x sub i equals zero. So we are summing over i equals one to n. So this part goes becomes n. So we can rewrite this as um, sum of x sub i minus theta times x sub i minus theta times n plus theta times sum of x sub i equals zero. These two cancels out. Finally, we get maximum likelihood estimate of theta equals 1 over n times sum of x sub i minus summing over 1 to n. So this is a sample mean. So this is a very intuitive maximum likelihood estimate of theta. This is a success probability in each trial of this Bernoulli distribution.